Okay, so for today, essentially, um, what we have prepared is uh, is two parts for the training. With uh, a first part, we will be introducing uh, the main uh, features and reports of Kodi that are the central um, type of analysis and commands that you will need to use to take advantage of Kodi for the example code we have selected. And then after this, we will use several versions of the very well-known matrix matrix multiplication algorithm in C, Fortran, and with different codifications to show uh, how to use Kodi to produce code that runs on, on the GPU using OpenMP and OpenACC offload directives, okay? After, after that, we will suggest to do a, at least a 30 minutes uh, hands-on session where you can have a, make a break or you can, or the, what we're going to propose is that you use uh, the examples of the metric metric multiplication that we have used that we have in our demonstrations and try to understand, go through the step-by-step -step guides that we have prepare for this course and try to reproduce and execute all the screening, all the commands of Kodi that Ulysses, uh, my colleague, is going to uh, use in the in the live demos. After that, we will begin the second part of the, today's session. We will present more examples, in particular, very simple one, the computation of the pi number, and a more complicated one that is the, the, the code we call Lulesh MK, which is a simplification of the Lulesh uh, uh, benchmark just for the purpose of doing and conducting this kind of trainings. After that, a second block of hands-on where you can play with the Madmul examples or also with the Pi and Lulesh MK examples. After that, uh, as a homework, uh, we will suggest another example that is a sparse computation of the matrix multiplication that is called ATMAX. And of course, you can also use all the other examples that you will be seeing in our live demos. So essentially, this is what we have prepared for today. So I will try to start and go straight to the point uh, in the first presentation of OD. My understanding of our understanding is that many of you probably is the first time that you see, you will be see CODI in action. So we want to tell you um, what are the main features you will find in CODI and how to use those features. So CODI essentially what provides is a, a tool that makes automatic code inspection, but it specializes in performance. You can see as sometimes called the static code analyzers, specialized in security, in back catching, but in performance and to assist developers on producing multi-threaded code, vector code, uh, or a GPU enabled code, it is the first uh, tool of its kind. So essentially, uh, you need to remember that CODI is a static code analyzer. Essentially, we'll provide you what you see here. First, you will be able to run analysis that provides you an overview of all the um, things that Kodi has discovered in your source code. This is what we call the quick assessment or the screening analysis. With the screen analysis, you will get metrics about all the things that Kodi has found. After that, the next thing that you need to do is to use what we call the Kodi checks report. And this will enable to pinpoint opportunities to optimize the performance of your code. Focusing on speed today, taking advantage of uh, single core optimizations, vectorization, multi-threaded, as well as uh, offloading uh, capabilities. So overall, what Kodi provides is a robust way of checking the quality of your, of your software and pinpointing opportunities to optimize it. We emphasize the quality because in the reports you will also see many things that Kodi finds in your code that don't have a direct impact on performance, but have a good, an impact on producing high quality performance code. A good example is try to explicitly define in your code the scoping of the variables. If you are able to define the scoping precisely in your source code, you will be minimizing the errors when you go to the multi-threaded environment or when you go to the GPU. So let's consider also the quality part of the checkers tested by Kodi. And overall, what Kodi provides is a way of automating the scanning of the code, producing these reports, actionable reports, so that you can save time in developing GPU-enabled code or in general optimizing code. And also the, the mission or the vision that we have in Kodi is that every developer should be able to 
produce code at the level of experts, guided by a tool that somehow pinpoints what is really relevant in each code to optimize the performance. Okay, so you will see how to use uh, examples of reports of the static code analyzer. Another thing that is important is that other static code analyzers essentially are tools that operate independently. But when it comes to performance, we need Kodi to operate as a platform that is integrated with the environment. Environment, we mean that Kodi needs to know about the type of hardware it's going to run, about the type of com or the compiler that is going to be used to compile the applications, because there is a there are compilers with very different capabilities in terms of performance optimization, from GNU to Intel compiler in the middle, the media compiler, the Cray compiler, or the LLVM compiler. So it's important that Kodi somehow provides capabilities to, for the user to understand what the compiler is doing automatically and where the compiler is overlooking opportunities and Kodi can pinpoint those opportunities. Okay, so just remember that Kodi can be used and set up to operate with, interoperate with compiler that you have in your, in your system. Also, uh, at the end of the course, uh, we will also be making public uh, uh, a leaflet where you will be seeing uh, performance numbers of what type of performance improvements or speed that you can get on permuter, taking advantage of single core optimizations, vectorization, multi-threading, and offloading. This is a work in progress, but, and it will be released to you to, as a reference for the for the for the future. So how do we use Kodi? Essentially it's as I said, very simple. We want to make first from starting from the source code a quick assessment. For the quick assessment, just you're going to need to run PW report. This is the main tool to remember to get information of to pinpoint opportunities for optimization and dash dash screening. And this will provide you with something like this. Here you can see initially a list of files, directories, or projects that you're going to scan. And Kodi will report the num total number of lines of code that were scanned, the, the analysis time that it took, in this case, less than two minutes. And in the column uh, checks, we report all the total number of points in the program that need attention by the programmer. In this case, more than 300 points. And in the second table, what you can see is a split of the total number of checks, 300, in different types of checks, uh, optimizations or checks related to single core optimizations. This is about optimizing the usage of the instruction set, simplifying the control flow, or taking advantage of making an efficient usage of the memory. Another type of checks is the, are related to vectorization, multi-threading, and what is the main focus of this course, offloading to, to GPUs. So this is how the screening report looks like. An important section also is the suggestions. At the end of each of the reports, you will get suggestions of another invo other invocations of Kodi that you can use to dig deeper in a particular part of the information discovered by Kodi. And of course, at the end, and just as a reference, the total number of files processed, here are 370, and the number of failures, how many files Kodi failed to analyze, okay? So after this, the next step is now you get numbers, you know that you have there is potential for Kodi to help you to optimize performance. Now you want to know the details about each of these 300 uh, opportunities that Kodi pinpointed. So for this, you just need to invoke PW report again, in this case, using the analysis dash dash checks. And you will get something like this. Dash dash checks will provide you a list of all the information found so that each of the information reported is located in the directory file and source code line number. Also, it has a code, a code PWR053. This is the code name of the optimization discovered by Kodi. And essentially, this is directly linked to the open catalog for performance optimization that we have in our website, where you can see a listing of all the recommendations in this version, almost up to 60 recommendations, defects or errors that Kodi can find in OpenMP or OpenACC enable code. And finally, remarks, things, things that are important for you to be aware of, but are not recommendations to rewrite the code to optimize the performance. And finally, important to complete the open catalog, a list of concepts or terms or uh, 
uh, knowledge that you need to know to understand performance optimization for modern computers and also to understand the nature of each of the recommendations reported by Godin. Okay, so the catalog, you can browse it in the website. It's open and it, it, our visualization will be open and eventually maintained by the community. And you can see also that the text report, when you activate the verbose mode, dash dash verbose, you get a suggestion of what you need to do to fix that issue. You also get a link to the documentation in the open catalog. And also you get a section that is we uh, called auto fix. Autofix will provide you a, se a sequence of, or a series of commands that you can invoke to use code rewriting capabilities to rewrite the code and actually fix that recommendation, okay? So in the end, the screening gives you all the number of checks that you Kodi has found in your code. The screening lists all the details of what are the issues found in the code. In verbosity mode, you get the links to the documentation, but more importantly for this course, also the suggestion of the commands of a different tool that is called PW directives that you can invoke so that Kodi can actually rewrite the code for you. Okay, so essentially what you need to remember are these tools that is the PW report for uh, using these things and PW directives to rewrite the code. So the catalog, I already mentioned the catalog. Um, one thing we want to highlight is that we are essentially trying to go beyond the state of the art of existing compilers. For instance, we have automated loop interchange in some use cases, as we show here in this leaflet, where some of the major compilers today don't find loop interchange as an opportunity and don't automate the rewriting. And this is our, our leitmotif and our motivation. Try to engage with all of you, with the community, to understand your needs and understand what we as experts in automation of a, a automatic code optimization can do for you to add it as new capabilities in the tool, okay? So this is a good example of the type of automation that we can do and we can leverage in the Kodi tool. So regarding, regarding the rewriting capabilities, uh, here you can see also a variety of what we offer today. You can annotate the source code with OpenMP and OpenACC directives. But also, you can also uh, annotate the code or rewrite the code with uh, to exploit memory efficiency or vectorization just by rewriting the code without adding any optimization to the code. You will see that, for instance, when Kodi rewrites loop interchange. Also, Kodi enables OpenMP multi-threading. It also has the capability to uh, integrate with the compiler that you set up, produce the re performance optimization report by the compiler, and understand what the what opportunities the compiler overlooked, and, pimp and suggest or pinpoint only those opportunities that are useful in the scope of using that compiler. Okay, so overall there are there is a variety of capabilities that we have in the, what we call this coding assistant capabilities, and today in this course you will be essentially playing with adding OpenMP or OpenACC directives to enable GPU, the execution on the GPU of your source codes. So PW report is your friend to inspect the code and to get reports. PW directives is your tool to instruct code to rewrite the code. Some examples of what the rewriting capabilities can do. In from the screening, code you will, when you enable the screening, you will also see that Kodi reports some functions, some loops, where Kodi can automatically rewrite the code. These are tagged as auto in the screening report. And after that, when you invoke PW directives in automatic mode, Kodi is able to rewrite several loops inside a function, and it can also give you this kind of integrated report with the compiler. This is, for instance, for vectorization, where you can see the list of the loops in your function, see what loops were successfully vectorized by the compiler version, in this case, GCC9, which is the default in Ubuntu distribution, see what Kodi can do beyond the capabilities of that compiler and produce, annotate the code and verify that the code is actually vectorized by the compiler. So there is a variety of, as I told, as I said, capabilities available in this rewriting uh, coding assistant or code, source code rewriting capabilities you have available in Kodi today. 
Many of these things are not in the scope of this course. So we are happy that during the hands-on, if you want to explore how this could be useful for your code or for the examples that we have here, feel free to raise questions about any other analysis that you think may be relevant for you, okay? So what are we going to see today and tomorrow? A series of examples of increasing complexity to try to analyze how code can help in different topics related to develop GPU-enabled code, from discovering opportunities to offload loops, to, un to understand the memory layout that has an impact on, data on the physics of data transfers, for instance, identify defects in some of the loops, for instance, a run, uh, a mapping incorrect in OpenMP that can lead to runtime errors. And also, you could eventually go beyond that and explore how to use a massive parallelism in nested loops or minimize data transfers. So there is a variety of topics that could be covered. We will not cover everything in this course, but we have selected a set of examples to, to at least show how Kodi can help you to go from zero to a baseline GPU enabled code that can run faster or at least as fast as the sequential versions or that it is the starting point to continue doing or exploring further optimizations uh, with Kodi or with your expertise. So this is essentially um, what we wanted to present to you as uh, in this tutorial to get started with Kodi. So in a few minutes, I, uh, I will hand it over to my colleague Ulysses, who will be doing demonstrating the basic capabilities using several versions of the matrix matrix multiplication. Okay, so essentially what you will see, Kodi command line invocations of the commands PW report dash dash screening to make the quick assessment, PW report dash dash checks to get the list of all the uh, things discovered by Kodi. PW report dash dash checks dash dash verbose to get the details of what is the link to the web page of the open catalog. And also, if there are auto fixes, know exactly which are the PW directives commands that you can invoke to rewrite, to instruct Kodi to rewrite the code for you. Okay? So the environment will be Perlmutter, which is uh, perfectly operational today. And we will start with a matrix metric multiplication well known by everybody implemented in, in C. At the very end, you will see how the takeaway that you can get is that you will be able to see how to, how to produce code around something like 6x to 8x faster on the GPUs of a Perlmutter using OpenMP and OpenSCC offloading capabilities. Okay? Uh, okay, any question uh, so far? before moving on to the course demonstration. So beside the Q&A doc, if you really want to, uh, you can unmute yourself and ask. I think we are, we could be flexible. So uh, this is Sudhakar. Um, so the code that is optimized, let us say, during this process, is it, uh, uh, I mean, <clears throat> transferable or portable to other systems, or is it very specific for per motor? Okay, the aim of Kodi is to produce a OpenMP and OpenACC of load code. That is, uh, let's say, a, in accordance with best practices to, pro, to produce portable code. So this is the principle of everything we do. But of course, when you take OpenMP and OpenACC code to different environments with different compilers, from GCC, Cray to NVIDIA, you get in the compiler environments different capabilities that can, as you will see in the in the in the step-by-step guides -step today, there are some constructs of OpenMP or OpenACC that are better supported in some compilers than the others. So from this point of view, uh, Kodi produces best practice code aiming to be portable across systems. And our aim is to work with the community and with all of you to try to understand which are the issues or the differences between different environments or different compilers. So that eventually we can improve Kodi to produce or annotate the code tailored to a particular compiler. Okay. So the short answer is yes, that is the aim. 
that it is portable, but for sure, in our experience is that you will get issues or different types of issues or challenges when you move your code to different environments, in particular using different compilers and GPU hardware. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so we will have time to uh, talk and a lot and make questions during the practicals of this demos and the and the and the hands-on. So for now, let me very very quickly show you what you will be seeing today. So with all the documentation uh, for each of the demonstrations we're going to do, we have prepared step-by-step -step guides. So everything you will see in the live demos done by Ulysses will follow the steps that you have in the step-by-step -step guides. In each of these steps, you will see how you can set up the environment by loading Kodi, loading a particular programming environment. We are playing with NVIDIA programming environment and with GNU programming environment. And you will see how you can make an essential configuration of Kodi to interact with the supported compilers. Essentially for GPU, you don't need to worry about that and you can use uh, the specified no target compiler. This is more relevant, for instance, for vectorization. And this is the reason why tomorrow we will be using embed TLS to see how Kodi can help improve the go beyond the vectorization capabilities of a given compiler. Okay, so first you need to set up the environment. Second, the implementation you are going to use. You can use many different different implementations of metrics metric multiplication, but here intentionally we have selected the more naive implementation, just AJK ordering in C, which is let's say the more natural way to learn how to code a metric metric multiplication. From there, we will be producing the screening report to make the quick assessment. Here you have the command that Ulysses will be demonstrating live in, on permuter. Next, following the suggestions, you will be suggested to use the checks and the checks report will provide you this listing of everything that Kodi found. There are things like related to making a better usage of the instruction set architecture of the processor, for instance, fuse multiply and add uh, instruction. Other things related to inefficiency in the memory usage, like detecting non-consecutive array accesses, or a potential opportunities to consider loop interchange, all the way up to opportunities in loops to enable multi-threading or to load into GPUs. Okay, so taking a look at what Kodi finds and discovers is very interesting at this level. If you enable as the next step the verbose mode, you will start to see how for each of the uh, the issues reported by Kodi, you get different options, and you get different suggested commands to use the Kodi coding assistant, the Kodi source code rewriting capabilities. Okay, you can automatically instruct Kodi to rewrite to swap to loops to enable loop interchange, or you can ask Kodi to, to add offload uh, directives using OpenMP or OpenACC. After that, what is the next step? We suggest here start trying to optimize single core optimization. In this particular case, uh, taking advantage of loop interchange. By taking advantage of loop interchange, then you just swap the AJK ordering to the AKJ. And this is the basis. From here, you can see that you get from 40 seconds down to 12 seconds, only applying loop interchange. So taking, that, taking uh, investing some time in single core optimizations really is beneficial on the CPU side as well on the GPU side. Next, let's add to the code that has loop interchange, let's add offloading capabilities with OpenMP and with OpenACC. Here you have the commands. This is the kind of information Kodi reports. This is how the code annotated by Kodi actually looks like. It adds the data copy clauses as the parallel and loop directives with OpenACC and also with OpenMP. Here you can see a good example of how we try to promote best practices. In principle, when you have double pointers, when you have flat 1D arrays in C, best practice usually recommend to use this kind of coding to transfer and follow the link, the pointers when you're doing the 
data transfers from the CPU memory to the GPU memory. So these are the, these are the kind of best practices that Kodi tries to promote and automate through the capabilities that we offer. Finally, ben let's benchmark this to reduce from 40 seconds to six, five seconds using OpenMP and OpenECC GPUs on permuter. And we also provide you with the scripts so that you can reproduce all of this just by simply launching the scripts on the reservation is, and the users are the groups reserved for the training today and tomorrow. So all of this is available in the step-by-step -step guides that we provide. And also finally, some additional remarks about things we learned from the current NVIDIA compiler or from the current uh, GNU compiler. And you see examples of the types of reports that each compiler offers and some comments on the challenges of using uh, these compilers on permuter in this particular environment. Okay, so essentially the route we suggest, set up the environment, understand MedMool, we selected the naive implementation just to avoid trying to understand complicated codes, produce the screening, try to implement single code optimizations in this particular case, loop interchange, and then add to the code with loop interchange offloading capabilities with OpenMP, OpenECC, and benchmark this using the NVIDIA compiler on permuter. So this is what you're going to see in this first uh, live demo. So I think it's a good moment for me to uh, stop sharing my screen.